Hi there, this is me, Seth. Uh, for today I'm going to show you Butler, very handy tool for, um, for your Mac. Um, I want to show you how you can configure uh, Butler so it fits most of all your needs and I want to show you how mighty this application can be. Uh, first of all, uh, there are a few places where uh, Butler could sit in your system. Um, naturally, it sits in the menu bar at the natural position here. Okay, you have here three items, the web search, the bookmarks here, not my addresses, and uh, this Mac where you can browse your file system, for example, and launch an application or, or see it, any documentation or so. But there is more. You can have your file system shown up in a, in a doclet, which is here now. When I click on it, I can move around on the system again as before. Let me just uh, put this back in the original position here. And the next thing is uh, when, I, when I click on this volumes uh, container here, I can go to the triggers page and there's much more where uh, Butler could sit or the container. I can assign an abbreviation. I tell you later what this is. Um, I can assign a hotkey. I can assign a hot corner. Maybe I want to have the left above corner here. I go up with the mouse here and you see again I can move around. Let me just deactivate this. So there are many places where uh, uh, Butler could come in. Um, but the main thing, the main activation thing uh, for Butler will be this abbreviation window, which comes up when I'm hitting control space so it doesn't interfere with spotlight. On Tiger systems. So what should I do now? I just hit Control Space, so this abbreviation window comes up. It asks me to uh, input an abbreviation, and maybe I just want to launch Text Edit. I enter Text Edit. Hit Enter, and there's Text Edit. Maybe I want to enter some tasks I have to do for today. Um, phone. Look, yeah. Oops. Mom, uh, buy some cake, maybe, and so on. I save this to my desktop, name it to do, and there it is. Let me just close text edit for now because one great thing about Butter is it keeps some kind of abbreviation cache. Let me show you what I mean. Maybe I just want to start Camino. I just enter cam, pick Camino from the list, hit enter, and boom, there's Camino. When I hide the application again, you can see here in the configuration uh, there is this on the fly abbreviations, and it has put Camino in here and assigned the abbreviation cam to it. I hope you remind the abbreviation thing from uh, before. Every time when you want to launch something with uh, Butler, you can assign this abbreviation to it. But not just an application, it does it on the fly. I can just drag here my uh, to-do list into, uh, into Butler, select it and enter the abbreviation for this. And then when I, when I enter to-do in the list, there's my to-do.rtf and I can launch just from Butler directly my uh, to-do list and enter some more tasks, maybe um, fight with the cat or so. As you can see, uh, it is perfect for launching applications, launching uh, files. You can have uh, web searches here like Google, Tioma and much, much more, you see. Um, you can handle your bookmarks just from within Butler. As you can see here, it supports almost any uh, browser which is out there for the Mac. 
If you go down here to this plus sign and select the smart item, you can see uh, where these uh, containers come from. You can have a, a Cyberdog also here. And the next thing I want to show you is this text here. I entering a text, maybe you're writing an email to someone and you're not satisfied with the um, with the email signature feature from within uh, mail app. Oops. You can enter the your signature here. I assign an operation to this signature. Let me just pick my uh, to do show what I mean. I, and I pop up the operation window, enter the operation I assigned before and hit enter and there's my very great signature for example or uh, other features would be if you're a web programmer you probably need this uh, uh, lorem ipsum thing and so on you can enter it here assign the approbation lorem and every time when you need it you got it but the next real, very great, great thing is uh, this keystrokes example here. So what is keystrokes? Uh, Peter, the programmer of Butter, has implanted some example here, which is called give it a try. You see uh, it looks very weird here, but it's very easy to enter. Let me assign an operation to this keystrokes Example. Go back to text edit. Keystrokes. Give it a try. Yeah, you see, uh, funny guy. Germans are always funny guys. Yeah, you can. Maybe you want to have an item uh, not for deleting and then emptying your trash can. You would just want to have one key stroke uh, which deletes the selected item and then empty, empties the trash can. You can have this one, uh, this if you want. The next thing I want to show you is this pasteboard here, which is also available from down here. Oops, from down here. Uh, it is assigned to a uh, hotkey. I show you what I what this is. I have assigned it to control. Alt V. It is a small uh, window which comes up with your recent pasteboard. So if I copy this one and this one and this one and then call back the item, I can just paste back everything I've copied before. So. This is great if you're dealing with uh, copied uh, text, you know. You can play your music and rate it and so on, just from within Butler. I start iTunes by now. I have this uh, Emma Tobin here. And maybe iTunes is in the background. And I want to show some information about the current uh, iTunes song. I hit Control Alt Up, and there I have this small uh, window here on the on the left corner. And every time I want to know what is playing at this time, I just hit the shortcut. I can play the next song. I can rate songs. And as you see here, the, the latest symbol tells me if iTunes is playing or not. I can even adjust the iTunes volume here, which, is, which you could uh, place down here. I stopped playing by now. Mm, go away. Uh, can volume up, volume down, iTunes information, and so on. Everything from Butler. 
You can start your system preferences. You can start um, Apple scripts. You can do a spotlight search. You can uh, integrate your uh, address book with Butler. Maybe you want to uh, search for a phone number from some of a friend. Just go down here to my phone number. Yeah, taxi. Okay, and there it is. So, this is the end of this uh, tutorial for Butler. I hope you like this uh, program a lot. Uh, download it from uh, the Manitrix guys, manitrix.com, and have fun with it. Thanks.